I'm Keith Peters with the Palo Alto Weekly. With me is Hannah Bolin, a senior on the Castilea volleyball team. Last week, Hannah played in uh, two non-league matches to get the week started. Uh, one, she had uh, 13 kills, 11 blocks, and she came back with another 11 kills in the other match. Then she headed into the Westmont tournament. Uh, she finished with 36 kills. Castilea went three and two. They finished fourth. And for that performance, uh, Hannah is the Palo Alto Weekly Girls Athlete of the Week. Had 60 kills total during the week. Uh, again, busy week. Uh, you went five and two overall. The uh, I guess the non-league matches sort of set up the tournament. Uh, what was the best thing uh, for your team uh, in the tournament? Um, I think the best team thing for my team during the tournament was our match against Mountain View. It was a big challenge going against my friend Brittany Howard, who I play with in club, and it really challenged our defense, but thankfully our team stepped up to the challenge, and it really gave us a lot to focus on for the these few practices early this week. Last season you were primarily a middle blocker. This year you've been moved to outside hitter. Uh, how difficult is to make that transition? Um, thankfully it hasn't been for that difficult because my team's really supportive. Coaches have been telling me exactly what I need to work on. And it's been great for the team because it gives me new opportunities as well as, well as other people who have come back from injuries. And it's helped the team work out um, from the beginning of the season. The, uh, obviously, the, the goal, uh, you have a, a very difficult league season, WBAL league season. Uh, you have to play Menlo, Sacred Heart Prep, which is, uh, they got to the state finals, D4 finals last year. Um, what are some of the things, uh, is it just winning league? Is that Are you satisfied with that, or is it getting to the postseason and getting back to CCS and, uh, and taking it as far as you can? Um, I think, obviously, the huge goal is to win CCS and win all that we can, but we try and take a game at a time and really focus on um, converting what we learn from in practice to game situations. And we work together as a team, and like I said, those are the huge goals, but we'll see how Lee goes and focus from there. You are one of three seniors, or two starting seniors, two four-year seniors on the team. Um, you have a lot of young players. Uh, does it get uh, easier or more difficult as you get older uh, in incorporating new players uh, on the team? I think making transitions with new teammates are what sports are about, and um, the talent that we've had come come in this, this year has been great. We have a brand new freshman libero um, and everyone's been really supportive of them and they've taught us a lot of new things so it's been good and I'm liking them and <laughs> hopefully they're liking me. Your coach uh, Tracy Mescal is uh, gonna have a baby uh, fairly soon and so what's gonna be the perfect gift for her, uh, baby gift for her this year? A lot of wins, a lot of team support and hopefully a lot of wins after she leaves as well. Those will be some good gifts for her when she's gone. Good luck the rest of the way. Congratulations. Thank you.